Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. In this video, I'm going to be showing an upgrade of VMware 6.5 to 6.7. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Manage, Services. We're going to find the SSH service, which there it is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and in my case, I'm going to turn it to always start with the host, just because it's my home lab. I'm going to hit start and then of course when you go back to your view here you're going to see the error that says that you have SSH running. You're going to see that as long as you do it's because it's not recommended uh, for security reasons. Uh, next you're going to go ahead and put your host into maintenance mode and that's it for this part. All right, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to go to ESXi and you're going to find 6.7 and then hit search. Now you have various versions you can choose from here depending on how recent you want to do it or in my case I actually had to originally go back and find an older version but for this I'm going to show you downloading the new one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to upload it to the data store. And just let it update. Hey guys, have you ever wanted to create a podcast and didn't know where to begin? Well, I have run into a tool known as Anchor. It is the, by far to me so far, the easiest way to create, distribute, and enjoy making podcasts. You can have access to their creation tools right from your computer or from your phone, and they'll even distribute your podcast to all the major networks, such as Spotify and Apple Podcasts, to name a couple. So everything that you need can be found at anchor.fm. Go ahead and download and start in making your podcast. Let's get back to the video. All right, so then from this point on, we're going to go ahead and be switching back to Putty. So one second here. All right. And we're going to go ahead and run this command here, which I'm going to first go into the volume, which is at VMFS volumes. It takes a while to find to go ahead and name them get into the data path, and you can see my files that I've uploaded. Very well, good way of explaining that, right? <laughs> well, now we're going to be running this command, which is ESXCLI software vib update dash D, and then the full path. So you're going to want to know your path. And if you want to copy it really easily, you can just type the Linux command PWD, and you can just copy it and then just add whatever zip file at the end. Now it's going to take a moment, which I've shortened in this video, to go ahead and try to do the update. Now in my case, my first time I ran into an error. The reason for the error ended up being a versioning issue. I went too fast instead of stepping it up, you know, version by version by version. So what I have to do is two things. Either one, completely wipe it, and go you know, disk through the disk or just happen to go back and download the older install which I'm doing right here and then slowly upgrade it you don't have to go and hit every version you just have to hit every pre major release so if there's version 1 uh, update 1 you want to hit the one just before update 1 when there's update 2 you want to hit the one just before update 2 and so forth um, that usually is enough to get you through the process. Now, this is not, as you can clearly see, the easiest method of doing the update. Uh, if you had vCenter, there's the option to do it through vCenter, which is by far the easiest. There is the option to do it through the actual disk. Uh, you reboot the system and you go ahead and say, hey, I want to do an upgrade. And that lets you do a major revision update. But yeah, that's the thing, though, is not... There's not one way to do any of these things. And that's what I kind of show in my videos. Which, by the way, if you happen to like my video, please make sure to hit the like button. You can roast me, too, if you find something that you want to 
say about me or whatever, which, hey, may even help me grow my content, adjust my content, make it more enjoyable. Uh, that's the comment section down below. Uh, there is a subscribe button that looks similar to this down on one of these sides. Nobody ever can get it right. And uh, hey, please help the channel grow by subscribing. And if you'd like to see more, comment section down below. Thank you guys. Bye.